Hello there guys and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at putting out the flames that we've been working on spreading. Seems kind of counterproductive, kind of but oh well, I want to show you guys how to do it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is fire up our first person character blueprint. Now in the viewport here you'll notice some changes between mine and the default one. Namely this giant pile of fire extinguisher foam coming out the gun. Making that's quite simple. That's simply a, uh, a steam uh, particle, what do you call it? Um, it's a particle something. I forget. A particle template. Let's go with that. This steam particle template here is attached to my gun. Um, and along with it is this capsule. Now this capsule is a trigger bound, a collision here. Ca collision. Wow, that was hard to say. Capsule collision. That's what this guy is and it takes up space inside the foam Now the reason I put the collision capsule. Wow, I'm not gonna say that word anymore I'm just gonna say the highlighted orange thing The reason I put the highlighted orange thing in here is because I've not quite sussed out how to do collision based on the particles uh, I will probably do a follow-up tutorial up to this when I get time to sit down and figure that out But for now we're gonna put this um, Yellow orange thing Capsule collision dude in here. Yeah, I said that right. So in the event graph once we've got this set up Let's take a look at what we have We have our input action fire for me. That's left click. So when I left click, I'm going to activate the steam uh, Particle over here and you get that by dragging it out and drag it off it and hitting activate So that's how we make that and the same for deactivate over here after the after the, those things we're going to set this boolean that I created by adding a new variable and naming it ex extinguisher on question mark and when the trigger is down the extinguisher is indeed on so we will set that to true and when we release the key we'll follow it down here deactivate the particle emitter and set that boolean to false so what does that do up here we have an event tick now this is called every frame so on each frame if the extinguisher is on we're going to get all the overlapping actors, everything that's, that is currently touching the capsule. So you remember this dude in here? We're going to get a list of all those things. And for each of them, we're going to cast it to fire cube. Now this section here is basically a filter. If it's not a fire cube that we're touching, it won't do anything. If it is a fire cube, we'll go on to check whether that fire cube is on fire. And I'll show you where this is later on. And once we've done that, we're going to kill the fire. So let's take a look inside the fire cube over here. We have a new method now, kill fire tut. It's a custom event and that's made by right clicking and typing custom event and giving it a name. After that, we need a new Boolean. So that's gonna be burnt. So we're gonna set burnt to true because when you kill the fire, it's burnt out now. So we're gonna set that to true and we're gonna go ahead and set the template on the particle system within the fire cube to be nothing, zilch. Smoke. I should have done smoke. Smoke's cool. Let's change that fire to smoke. And we're also going to set the material to something that isn't its natural material. So you know we're burning a bush here. Well, if I type in bush, you can see that I have a bush material. But I don't want it to look the same after it's burnt out as it does before. That doesn't make sense. So I'm going to select something random. This cobblestone, for example. The other thing you may notice is I have this other variable over here that isn't explained. This is on fire. This needs to be created and set when spread fire happens. So if it's not already burnt, when we call spread, spread, wow, let me try that again. If it's not already burnt, when we call spread fire, we want to set on fire to true. We need to set that to true because over here, we need to check whether it is true or not. So when it's on fire, we'll know it's on fire and we can put it out. And that looked like my Unreal Engine crashed for a moment there. That wasn't good. That's basically it. So let's take a look at what this does in the engine. Uh, if I wasn't losing everything, that would be helpful. Let's go ahead and possess our character here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one out because it's on fire. Quick, the fire's spreading. Put them out. Put them out. And you see that it changes from a um, 
on fire to being not on fire. And in fact, we have that smoke template that we changed. So that now fills it up with smoke because we've just put it out. Now, obviously this cobblestone material, what I would expect in a game is that you take the bush material, you uh, dissect it, take it apart, load its components into Photoshop and just gray over them and make them look gray and ashy and burnt. You could even switch out the static mesh to be a pile of ash instead. But I might cover that one on a different tutorial. So that was it for this one, guys. We've set the bush on fire and we've now made a very simple fire extinguisher and it works to put it out. Uh, as, as I explained, the orange thing will be removed in a later tutorial when I figure out how to do this bloody particle collision. It's complex, but I'll do it. I'll do it. So, as I said, that's it for this video. A very short, simple one. This one was actually requested by somebody in the comment section. So if this helps you out, you have them to thank as well as me. As always, guys, stay cool, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.